Ready, set, go. All right. I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end here. I'm gonna go shopping, see what I can buy. Hello. An utmost pleasure to see ye. Uh, yeah, I'll buy the rubber sized toy gerbil, certainly. I don't know. No. That's adorable. Exactly. And we love that. We absolutely stand for that. We love adorable squeaking things found on the river sticks. Yes. Alright, let's go. Head on up to my room. Talk to the clouds. Is your hand tired? No. No, although my ears are a little bit sore. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, a bit. Maybe, maybe. The world won't explode if you step away for a second. Probably. Prob probably. Probably. Uh, thanks for caring. What do you mean? What do you mean getting? Oh, you mean you got me here? I don't understand. I don't understand. But it's bedtime. End the day. Time to start another day. It's almost time for the ultimate judgment. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna set you down here with my other friend and take a look at the news I mean it's just it's sporty boy 7 I mean it's all it's for a good cause and all but the barrel off a waterfall trick has been done a lot in the last hundred years hashtag not impressed body of teacher found in a ravine after they went to search for the existence of extraterrestrial life yeah yeah that's so my 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 theory was correct in that they're they're doing a little bit of Pseudoscience. Biochemist almost dies in a fire at work. They were able to get out by following a fleeing cat. Very good. Are we saved? Young biochemist finds a vaccine for chicken flu. Nice. Chicken flu vaccine shots now free to it thanks to a donation from a local business. Hell yeah. Vaccines should always be free. Um... Ringleader of trafficking ring mauled to death by a tiger they smuggled into the city. Yep, that'll happen. Possible advances incoming and alleviating wrist damage could prove very helpful to programmers. What about that? What about the... That's the second time that wrist damage has been mentioned. The results are in. Fish can have a little salami. Absolutely. Foodies, five reasons why you should go to the new vegan muffin shop. Double or nothing. Right now, that's fantastic. That's a great name. Uh, severe droughts worldwide, seen as existential threat to one's booming ag agriculture. Sure, sure, yeah, okay. Uh, what's going on, Grim? I must inform you of a severe event. The atmosphere seems to have cracked open, figuratively. We will see where this takes us. Four people have to die. All right, so it's a little. It's a little brutal today, but I still get to call the shots. Uh, for the most part, Jiri Sugimoto. Cow-calf operator. I don't know what that means. Generational farmer, Jiri has taken care of their family's ranch since their adulthood. The ranch itself has seen better days, with the most, with the most of the livestock lost to severe droughts and the machinery completely dilapidated. Jiri is trying desperately to restore the ranch to working to working order with their small family Aw, that's sad I want you to live you're not like it won't take much for for it it'll take like a clearly really good person to replace him but Verity has been working at the pharmaceutical industry for decades trying to find a decelerator for aging 
While lately it seems that the discovery might actually come from Biogenics, Verity is certain they can concoct some sort of a chemical compound that gets the job done. I don't agree with that. I think everyone should just be okay with aging. Uh, Jamil Nagendra. Jamil Br Branch Manager. Okay, began their career as a customer support agent in a well-known corporation's overseas branch. They climbed up the corporate ladder and, are, and now are looking to keep the branch running through economic difficulties. They are currently visiting in Cosmopolis, trying to negotiate additional funding. That's nice! That's nice! But not as nice as a struggling uh, farmer. Kyo Akihodo, Akihito is a farmer, is also a farmer. Okay. Kyo has lived in four different countries, finally settling down at the Sun County Wine Region, where they now work as a viticulturist. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit often. That's very good. You've just beaten Najiri. We might have to kill one, one egg. Or spare one extra person. Tally Nygaard, 39, teaches sex education in many different schools, helping adolescents navigate the twists and turns of physical and emotional evolution. They're a fan of ice skating, pottery, and very technical metal music. Often, often traveling to concerts and festivals. Today is our true rebel, rebel day. Today is the day these three people are all living. They're all living. It's happening. These people are dying. This is it. Let's just see how fate feels about that. Let's just see how fate feels about that. Let's just see what fate thinks about that. Ah, the beginning. The beginning? It has the sweet what a What's, what are we talking about? It is a captivating day, is it not, Grim? I, I, I guess so. I know so, Grim. Never before have I experienced such certainty. Is, it, is that so? What, what about? My spirits lead me at a loss for words. Uh, great. Not much else to say. Go on, get back to work. Great! Cool! I'm not gonna ask about. Trust you to make the correct choices. Nice. Love to hear it. I myself must concentrate. The musings have struck me. Oh. Work to be done while there is still. Yeah. Yeah. You you get to work there, friendo. You get right to it. Yeah. That was lucky. He's so distracted by. It. Oh, I didn't get paid today. That's fine. That's fine. I can handle that. Probably means I'm not gonna get much shopping done. Although the last item only count. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Mortimer. Okay, I can't afford that, but I can't afford the tenebrous curiosity. Well, blow me down, lad. I won't. <laughs> Fibbledy scoop. <laughs> Okay. Wow. So hard they forgot about frivolous things. Like food or sleep. Sure. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fibbledy scoop. Yeah. I I have restless fingers. And restless hands, quite frankly. Alright. Let's uh let's get to bed. End the day. Yeah. Let's go. Make it happen. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna throw you... Mm, gonna throw you in here with the rest of my friends. Nice. Okay. Torrential rains pellet. Unusually arid deserts causing massive lud mudslides. Oh no. Oh boy. Young cow gives life to save ranch owner from barn fire. Very good. Economic wonder kind found dead in the local park. Officials suspect heat stroke. Oh boy. 
more and more people dying of starvation in developing countries. Yikes. Cosmopolis Media aiming to develop a new sex education show to boost healthcare all across the nation. There we go. Uh, chemist uses an experimental anti-aging drug on themselves, grows younger until finally ceases to exist. That's kind of what I expected would happen. Government to seek the ban of dangerous de-aging research. There you go. And finally, the, Saint, the famous burger joint St. Bart's under scrutiny by Ethics Commission. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, let's hear about the rules. What ho, Grim? Oh dear, the oceans are boiling. This is certainly going to affect international trade. Yes, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Quota for the day, six people have to die. Well, steal myself fate. Okay. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's give this a go. This... Th oh boy, I'm actually... I'm really having trouble. Vasilye Araldo. Vasilye has been serving tables since they enrolled in college to pay the tuition fees. They constantly dream of a better world, longing for their childhood sim simpler times. They plan on taking a gap year after finishing college to see the world as troubled as it is, truly. You're gonna live for now. Vana Goksu, retired, is a person of simple pleasures. They are living out their retirement in the rural areas of Cosmopolis City, waiting for not much else than the sun to rise the next day. They enjoy reading science fiction books and crafting lucky charms. Ooh. Hmm. Just because they're older and they're already retired, I gotta put them in the die column. Just for now. Well, I'll put them, I'll sneak them in today. Serena Masvidal. Electrician. An avid electronics enthusiast, Serena has continued working as an electrician well into their retirement. Although their grandkids keep telling them to retire, especially to bad, due to bad eyesight, their love for the job will always win. Eww, that's not great. That's not going to make the cut. Not going to make it. Tama Warden. Sheep farmer. People make a lot of juvenile jokes when it comes to sheep farming, which really gets under Tamo's skin. Nice. Nice. Because shearing, in order to shear sheep, yeah, get under... Well, you don't have to get under their skin, but... It's... Sheep farming is an important provider of meat, milk, and fiber, even parchment. Tamo really cares for their flocks, though, and their sheep are very healthy. Ah... Uh... Ah, uh, just, just barely not gonna make it. Can't make it. Can't make it happen. Henny Vivek. A, a life of crime has been Henny's life since they were born. Part of a gangster family, they have taken flight with much of their supposedly shared wealth and are looking to spend the rest of their days in an apocalypse bunker. Henny is being actively hunted by the rest of their family in a vendetta. Oh, dang. Okay. That person's gonna, gonna get killed. That's just what's gonna happen. Shizuka Arai. Truck driver. Long distance trucking can be really boring, or frustrating, or meditative. Gives plenty of time to contemplate issues, or listen to audiobooks and podcasts. At least that's what Shizuka uses the time for. Her aspiration is to one day not drive trucks across the land. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Not quite. Uh, Ildo Su Silvia, radical climate scientist, this is the last one for the day. As the world's oceans grow more hostile, Ildo has taken, undertaken a top-secret solo mission to nuke what is remaining of the polar ice caps in a wild attempt to cool down the planet. Ever since being a young student's student, they have always dreamed of saving the world and being completely misguided in how to do it. Yeah, no, you're not going to make it. Okay, let's see how this goes. And I'm going to finish the day, and then I'm going to finish the stream. All right. Confirm my choices? Yes. At some point, I gotta get in trouble, you know? At some point. At some point, I gotta. You know? It feels like... It's... Okay. Alright. 
Or should I stick to traditional narrative technique? Uh, experimental for sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. You are still here, Grim. I guess you want to talk about work. I mean, I don't, but like, if you want to. Let us take a look at the Oh, the one time that he takes a look. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad time. It's a bad time. Ultimate ecological masterpiece. And in the center of it, Zane Aliasa. Wait, did I spare Zane? Is that what can I say? Things do not seem to be going well. I thought your rules were supposed to stop this. Are you sure you followed them properly? To the letter? Uh I don't think no is an answer anyone would pick. Uh, what is done is done. These are the consequences you must live with. Why do you still live? Yeah, yeah. Do I still live? Is that has that, have we settled on that yet? All right. Certainly no time to waste now. All right. Well, that's the end for today. I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to be coming to the end of uh, death and taxes pretty soon here. But uh, it's been fun. I've been. I love this game. I love it very much. Just gonna check. Oh, so many things. Uh, I did. I don't know what that means. What? Uh, no. No, I don't. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, sure. Right. The Vibram, tired of the desolation, ate the prince, and flew away. Um, am, am I the prince? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. You would have answered yes to any one of those? Yeah, yeah, that's Doesn't what I thought. Yeah. As long as you I didn't. I didn't. Learn the lesson. Even as it's sure. It'll be pretty horrible from here on out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get that sense. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on the stream, I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, thanks for being here. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks. For, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and love you. Um, if you like the video on YouTube, you can click it and click, click the, the, the like thing. If you got thoughts as to how this all went, uh, you can put, put those thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed or rung the bell, you can do those things as well. I'll see you later.